Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Amit Sharma and today I am going to show you how to use a custom defined SQL query in physical layer in OBIE. So we are continuing to building our HR analytical model step by step and in today's session we will understand the need of using custom defined SQL query in physical layer. Let me quickly recapitulate about HR model analytics so far we discussed. So as we are building HR analytics for our global human resource business team, so step first as we discuss, we are required to build a semantic layer and in OBI we are going to use a tool called RPD called repository. Step second, we are going to identify and prepare reports and dashboard. Step third, we are going to enable our business user so that they can create self-paced report, self-paced or can reports. Self-paced analytical report, they can create report on their own without any IT support. And in fourth step, we'll talk about how to incorporate predictive analytics in OBIE. So these are the objective of our, of our learning. We will build our HR model, prepare uh, HR reports, based on HR model and then we'll talk about in HR model what are the dimension, facts, join, keys, cardinality needing and simplify our dimension model. So basically today we are taking a step towards simplify our dimension model. Let me explain you the requirement over here. My requirement is something like this. We have a employee table and employee table is basically a historical table and often it has happened all the data filter uh, and data filter transformation is done in ETA layer okay, called extract transform and load but sometimes it is not feasible to perform transformation or filtering of the data on dimension so therefore your RPD also facilitate you to filter records remaining in BI layer that's what exactly we are going to see so uh, we have a table called employee table. Now employee table is a historical table which has got data for last 20 years. But for my BI reporting, business intelligence reporting, a business user do not need last 20 years of data. I mean the data is not relevant for reporting purpose. And therefore they decide to filter data only meaningful for their reporting purpose. So the, the criteria over here is like this. We would like to see only those employees which are still working not retired or terminated. So the parameter which to, uh, the parameter used to identify the employee still working, there's a column called active indicator. If active indicator value is 1, it is considered as employee is still working. And the termination date should be null. Okay. If it is null, it means employee is still working. If it is not null, it means the employee got terminated so I need to change it it should be null employee termination date should be null okay. employee level should be less than six it's a call employee reporting hierarchy or in often we call employee band right so band structure for example CEO at band one okay. under CEO then we have a different hierarchy let's assume we have a hierarchy of chief technical officer after CEO then we have got senior vice president, senior vice president and something like this. So we define as a band or hierarchy level. CEO is always at band 1 okay. and CFO band 2, CTO band 2, something like this. So we would like to, in my employee table, we like to keep only those employee information which are less than equals to 6. It means band uh, 1 to 6, right? We don't want to consider any employee below band 6 level. This is my requirement. An employee hire date should be 2005. So as per my reporting requirement we would like to consider only those employees who have been hired for last 10 years. So the business says we would like to do analysis only the piece of data which meet up this criteria. Okay. There are multiple ways to solve this. Today we'll see how to apply custom defined filter directly in physical layer. We also see the same problem using multiple other ways. So as you discussed, you have underlying data source. Then after data source, we would be building our semantic layer, okay, which is your RPD. We build a semantic layer. 
and then uh, semantic layer in turn has got three layers called physical layer, business model mapping layer, physical, BMM and presentation layer. Right. So I would apply filter in my physical layer itself. When you apply filter or when you write a custom defined SQL query in physical layer itself, uh, it's a global. It means all business model and report inherit this filter. It is also possible to apply filter directly at my source level. Right. We'll see a couple of cases to understand this requirement. Let's do this live to have a better understanding about how to apply custom defined SQL query. I'll take you to my RPD which we have been working right from the beginning. So this is our HR model right? which we prepared in a previous session. This seems pretty complicated and difficult to interpret as a whole. So we split it into multiple pieces and then we start solving it. Right? Uh, let's build this model completely from beginning once again. I delete this model and once again I inherit from my physical source to my OBIE. I delete this model and I delete all the dependent model and we build completely from the beginning. Right? So first step we inherit the model from our source system to OBIE. We'll, I'll keep writing a steps over here. My step first import import metadata from data source. In our case data source is RDBMS. In fact we are using Oracle. So I go to file and import metadata. Let me close it first. Import metadata. I already prepared database connection over here or I could use a database connection from Oracle. I'm using Oracle database so I use um, proprietary connection called OCI, Oracle Connectivity Interface. Okay. Then you need to define a username and password. right? So we define a username and password over here and SID username and password. So let me specify all the details. My SID is ORCL, HR model is a schema name and this is my password. Go to next and what would you like to bring? I like to bring table, primary key and foreign keys. Next, in the first I will bring the entire model and as we proceed further we simplify the model step by step. Okay. I'm going to bring all the dimension and facts. Just select all the dimension and facts. All employee details. Okay. I'll go by default properties for now. It takes few minutes to while it import the metadata because it brings all the table, keys, joint, constraints. Okay. And therefore sometime it takes some time. Perfect. So I got the entire metadata. Finish and you see your physical layer is ready. Let's look at the graphical view of it. Right click, look at the physical diagram. The physical diagram is as often very complicated. Okay. But we are not going to solve it in the same fashion. We will simplify it before we proceed further. Okay. okay, let's pay attention to the actual thing. So we have a table over here called employee, employee dimension. employee dimension. Let me query this. Right click and view data. Uh, let me save it first. And right click and we view data. This is your sample data of your table. Okay. Now let's see the requirement, exact requirement. So as per my exact requirement, we would like to bring only those employee which are still working. Those are active. Okay. There is a column called active indicator and I want only those employees who are still active and the termination date should be null which means employee is still working. So when I look at the query I find this column over here first I find termination date equals null which means employee is still working and another parameter called active indicator 
this active indicator is should be one, which demonstrate employee is still working. Okay, so termination date should be null. Active indicator should be less should be equals to one, and employee level is less than equal to six. I like to bring only those employee from first band first to band six. This is the employee level. This is sample data with 100 records, 99 records. I like to bring only those employee which are belong to level one to level six. Okay. And the last filter I like to apply over here. The higher date should be greater than 2005. The higher date, we have a column over here called date higher. Date higher should be greater than 2005. So I like to maintain information or record for only those employee who have been hired after 2005. 2005 and onwards, right? So one way you can write any kind of custom SQL query, right click and go to properties and you can change the table type from physical query to select query. If you're very good at writing query, you can do on your own. But if you think you are not very good at writing query, I tell you even a smarter way of doing the same thing. Let OBA render, let OBA generate query for you. If you think you are not good at writing query, OBA can generate query for yourself. I'll show you how to do this. Okay. This is for temporary activity I'm going to show you. So I create business model and I create presentation layer. Just drag and drop. Nothing big I'm going to do. And I want the query to be rendered by OBA for you. Okay. So what I do, um, I create business model, I create presentation layer and I, then I go to browser. Let me refresh it. I go to browser and let me refresh the view. I refresh my model. Uh, the name of my model is HR model, right? HR model. I go to HR model and here I apply filter. Whatever column you need, you drag and drop and you process. So I select from employee dimension, whatever column you like to see, you simple drag and drop. Okay. And actually I need to apply filter. What are my filters? These are your filter. Termination date should be null. Employee level should be less than equals to six. Higher date should be greater than 2005. And active indicator should be one. Let's apply filter over here. When you apply filter, OBI will render query for you. And you can take this query and use this in your physical layer. So let me do it one by one. First, active indicator, drag and drop, apply as filter equals to one. Active indicator, hold your control key, drag and drop, active indicator equals to one, right? It's an active employee. Um, employee termination date should be null and employee level should be less than six. So I say next is employee level, drag and drop, hold your control key, less than equals to six, right? So I like to bring only employee with band one to six. Next. I like to bring only those employee data where higher date is greater than 2005. There's one challenge over here because it's a date format. Right? Higher date is a date format. So I'll bring from date format, I'll bring year from here and then I apply 2005. Let me show you how to do this. From higher date, date higher. Okay. Date higher, drag and drop, apply the filter and here in the column expression, I apply date function, right? There is a function parameter you can select uh, calendar date function, a simple function called year. When you click on year, you see the definition of function given over here, syntax and expression. It returns the year for the specified date and that's exactly what we want. So we'll bring the year and it should be greater than equals to 2005. Greater than 2005, isn't it? So my year should be greater than 2005. Okay. So active indicator is one, employee level should be less than equals to six, employee is hired after 2005, and last filter is termination date should be null. I use termination date, once again drag and drop, apply filter, termination date Null is not given over here in the value, isn't it? Null is not given. What would you do? You can simple write your own custom SQL query. Choose this option, 
select this filter to SQL and you manually write is null isn't it if something is not visible you can write custom define SQL query is null do you think everything is good now click on result you got the output now we use OBA has rendered a query we'll use this query and apply into our physical layer so go to administration manage session go to your query log and this query has been created this is exactly what we wanted it is exactly what we wanted I copy this query and put it over here if you're right if you're good at writing query you don't need this you can create query on your own I need to bring all the columns I remove this replace the star bring all records from employee table where employee indicator active indicator is one year should be greater than 2005 see system has automatically apply database specific function okay. uh, employee level should be less than equal to six and termination should be not null right okay my query is ready I can copy this query and I don't want the entire table employee table right click uh, go to properties change the physical query to custom SQL and put the query over here if you're not very sure about the query is correct or not I would recommend you to test this query in your database you can test this query in your database Just copy the query and paste over here and see does it work oh, my query is not copied completely let me copy it and paste over here perfect my query is rendering so synthetically it is correct okay that's it you see the symbol uh, when you convert custom SQL physical table to custom SQL the symbol got changed over here to a spec which demonstrate it's a custom defined SQL I would also recommend you to run update row count so that your OBI in line with your metadata update row count does simple thing it runs a select star count from table name count star from your table name okay so this is done now how does OBA understand custom defined SQL query when I write my physical query it, when I use a physical table it used like this select a star from table name but when I use custom defined SQL query OBA convert this to a correlated query select a star from the correlated query which we just now created right let me show you how does OB understand this so now we apply filter in my source itself right let's query and test it once again I query and test it I create a fresh query and like to bring employee data isn't it look at carefully so I drag and drop couple of column from employee table employee dimension couple of column employee name first name last name and so on okay drag and drop and, and process and see how OB understand custom defined SQL query I run it I go to administration look at the log file and that's what I find here what do you see over here now your query turns out to be correlated query isn't it that's your correlated query select star from not table name rather custom defined query select select ABC blah 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 from the query which you use as a in your physical layer is used over here as a custom defined SQL query correlated query so this is such a beautiful option to write any complexity you can solve any level of complexity in your physical layer the only flaw with this approach is that any changes happen in your underlying metadata required to manually modify this query and therefore sometimes this approach is not recommended 
in next session i'll talk about what is a substitute solution of custom defined sql query so today i'm going to stop over here and in next session we'll solve another problem of building hr model should you have any question about obie you can write to us or you can visit our site www.bisptrainings.com thank you and have a great day ahead